The wife of my boss said, Steve, you have a phone call in the kitchen. It was 10 o'clock at night. I went into the kitchen, answered the phone, put the phone to my ear, and the words I heard I will never forget. Mr. Oles, I am pay here. That phone call changed my life. That phone call meant that I was going to be drawing, not designing primarily as an architect. And you know what? It's okay. That was a good phone call. My name is Steve Alls, and I'm an architect who got sidetracked. An architectural project is typically begun as a very vague and amorphous idea, the architect's head. The task of the architectural illustrator in general is to take all of the material that's available at the time and translate that into something which is representational, photographic, if you will, something that the lay people can understand and also something that the architect himself or herself can understand as well. My intention always has been to communicate the intention of the architecture. That's something which is beyond the graphic. It's something that Hugh Ferris referred to as the spirit. That's what made the pursuit of a graphic career worthy enough to undertake. So that phone call led to quickly to a series of meetings where Ian Pei said to me that I want this project, that is the National Gallery of Art East Building, all drawn in one hand, and I want that hand to be yours. So for the next two and a half years, I spent a lot of time in New York in Ian Pei's office working with the design team on the design of the National Gallery East Building project, which was, at that time, Pei's capstone. The first drawing done in 1969 was done so well that the client said, that's exactly what we want, I am, don't change a thing. This turned out to be an example of a drawing done too well, because it overwhelmed the intention of the architect. I am said, no, that's not what we want. It's too dark, it's too closed, we need to open it up. So for the next year or so, a series of nine or 10 drawings that I did as a consultant there showed various degrees of opening of the ceiling, opening of the roof of the National Gallery. And all of this was done prior to the advent of the computer. Some people imagine that the computer can do everything. That could not be farther from the truth. Actually, what one still has to do is have the idea and pursue the idea with much of the same discipline and in many of the same parameters that you do as a traditional artist. The computer is just a tool. Some tools are easier to use than other tools. And as it turns out, a few software, SketchUp certainly among them, is very natural, very intuitive, and gets in the way much less. Drawing is something I love to do. It has served me well. I think it's served the profession well. And I would have to say, at this late point in my career, I'm extremely happy with the way things have turned out. I probably could have done nothing else quite as well as I do what I do.